Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today, we are going to be looking at an ultra-safe TNT cannon. So yes, I built another TNT cannon, but this one has no way of backfiring, it is super safe, and yeah, it's just an all-around pretty great design. The one thing is, the actual TNT blowing up isn't safe, but the actual machine won't blow up on itself ever. And I will get to explain that when we get to the machine. So, real quick, let's head on over there. Welcome back, everybody, and we are here at the TNT cannon. So, this might look a little bit more complicated than a normal TNT cannon, but I assure you, it is much, much better. And if you're complicated by, like, if you're confused by this big wire, this is really unnecessary. You can, like, just put a button back here and do it. So that might look like a lot, but really, most of this is just one big wire leading up here, so I can shoot it from the front. And, like I said, it's a super ultra-safe TNT launcher. There's no way of it blowing up because of this mechanism right here. But first, let's just kind of try it out. Also, guys, one, a couple things about this TNT design is it shoots very far because it has more than a couple dispensers. That also means it's a little bit more expensive, but also you can make this only one row of dispensers. It really doesn't matter. I just did it just because it looks cooler. And also, um, because of the signs in the water, it does shoot really low, so it usually just kind of goes straight far. Also, it is so quick, you can barely actually see it so let's go one more time and maybe try to spot the TNT actually flying this time all right well you might have seen it right there let's just do it one more time and then actually go to building it all right so um yep I'm I hope you guys saw it this is actually a really really fast shooter for some reason so I didn't expect that either but hey I guess it's a good thing so real quick I'm just gonna do a quick overview and then maybe go a little bit more in depth really it's just dispensers on all sides all hooked up with repeaters at one tick and redstone connecting them and then um, there's two dis uh, there's a dispenser here and a piston here so what happens is this dispenser shoots out a piece of TNT puts it right here and the piston shoves it over right over here and the water makes it safe because there's water almost around at any time and if you're wondering about this whole big big repeater clock is because I need time for this or my bad these to go off and then a little bit longer this one so it has time to blow up and then this piston needs to go after this one dispenses so I made it just a little bit longer so to get a better view of it let's go check over here so this is the dispensing this is right over here um, the reason it's dispensing all four is because if we come over here, this repeater is powering this and also repeating, um, gosh, <laughs> I'm bad at talking today. It powers this and the one right below it, kind of like a bud switch. And also if we go up here, same thing. So that's why just two levels will activate all four dispensers. And now we come to the actual safety, which is the big part of this actual design. So as we can see, if we press this button, this dispenses and then this shoots uh, well, shoots, pushes, TNT right over here, and then it goes back in, and then there's water back. So really, the TNT is pushed here, then goes over here, but once it's here, even if it doesn't shoot off, really, the water's right there, so even if it blows up, it can't blow up. Also, yeah, and there's water right above it, so really, that's why it's ultra safe, because there's water around it at any time. Also, none of the water actually, um makes it unshootable and if you guys are wondering about this it's just like I didn't want to make an entirely new TNT cannon so I just built like the first row right over there well everybody now it's actually time to test this thing that I've been showing you this is again for the last time this is a safety mechanism and what's gonna happen is this dispenser is gonna shoot a piece of TNT right on this block and this pistons then gonna shove it over here and that's where the safety mechanism actually comes in and for the purposes of actually showing you the safety I'm not gonna make the TNT shoot I'm gonna leave it right on this block and see if it blows up and I assure you it will go there and stay there so let's click the button and as you can see it was pushed over here and because this water just kinda of flows in 
it's touching the TNT and it will not blow up. So, when, if you're trying to maybe blow up your friend's house or something, and I've had this a couple of times, the TNT blows up on me and it destroys the ground, my machine, and it gets all mm, bad. So, this machine will fix it. It does take a little bit more resources, but this is kind of for a maybe experienced player that maybe likes a little bit more safety and has a couple more materials on hand. And before we actually leave, let me show you the cons and the pros of this TNT launcher. So the pros are not costly. Of course, probably the most expensive thing is the dispensers, but you can also cut down. You can make one row if you want. Next is it's obviously pretty safe. That's the whole idea of this TNT launcher. Next, it's not hard to build. Really, it's not hard to build at all. It's just a TNT launcher with this little setup right here. So probably a three-year-old could build it. Um, it is long range. So this thing, depends how many dispensers you put in, will go very far. So it's not some old TNT crappy launcher. But, as always, we do have the cons. One con is, it is destructive. So obviously, it's still TNT, it still blows up, and it will destroy things. And lastly, is it's sort of bulky. I mean, to build this entire thing just randomly, it is kind of hard and you might need a lot of room for it, but as always, it's a TNT cannon, so <laughs> that kind of serves as a purpose. But guys, yep, um, I advise you guys to build it in your own world. Try it out, have fun with it, and play it around. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.